The first time I saw the boot campaign on a news clip on television, I was pulled into the story. He was barely 19 when he joined the Marines just like his daddy did. Glory bound and bulletproof was that small town kid. He shaved his head and shipped him out to somewhere stand. They gave him a gun, said get the job done, and that boy became a man. And for three long years, he fought hard for company C. Till the day his wheels touched down in the land of the free. When they come back. The boot campaign was formed by five women from Texas who wanted a way to tell the story of Marcus Luttrell, the lone surviving Navy SEAL, and his story is told in The Lone Survivor. The Lone Survivor Foundation is the brainchild of Marcus Luttrell who wants to build a facility, a working ranch, where wounded warriors can go for healing and for help. When we decided we were going to get into the boot campaign, I purchased the boots from my entire team, 13 pair, and we got our boots on. I think it's awesome because we're going to have a visual representation that we can wear in the office, and it's more than just saying, thank you for your service. It's like, look, I'm thanking you by walking in your boots. When I told my son, who's in the Air Force, what we were doing, he said, hey, Mom, that's pretty cool. So this is a way that we can give back team working together to give back to the military for what they give to us. You know, because when you see somebody in the airport and you say thank you, and but this is the first time that I can actually do something that I feel like I'm actually contributing back to. And he prayed for grace. I reached out to several leaders in the mortgage industry and asked, hey, if I bought you a pair of boots, would you put your boots on, send me a picture, and then within your sphere of influence, tell them about the boot campaign. We were becoming boot evangelists. Uh, we, all, we all know someone, we may well be related to someone who is serving our country and many of these warriors as they return need help. They need help physically, they need help psychologically, they need help re-entering into the real world. And one of the great things that we can all do is we can buy a pair of these amazing boots, these rocking hot boots. He was barely 19 when he joined the Marines just like his daddy did. Glory bound and bulletproof was that small town kid. He shaved his head and shipped it. Hey, would you like for your life to make a difference? The answer is always, absolutely, I want to do something that makes a difference for other people. And there's nobody out there that's doing that more than our soldiers in the military. I have my boots on. I got to tell you, I love them. He fought hard for company C. To the day his wheels touch down in the land of the free. When they come back, they thank God they're home. Yeah, they're older, wiser, filled with more pride than they've ever known. Oh, they're broken, better. Struggling to get past their pain When they come back they don't Hi, Daniel Harkavy here, CEO of Building Champions and Executive Coach. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to some of America's best. Thanks for putting it on the line and sacrificing for us. I'm speaking for a whole bunch. We're incredibly grateful. Thank you, Louise Thaxton and the Fairway team for allowing me to be part of your thank you campaign. It's an honor.
said, I can't stay in this chair. The last few years in our industry has been pretty tough. It's been rough. When we got on board with the boot campaign, it's like building a fire with my team. The passion's back. They are so excited. They've got their boots on. So for four long years, he studied hard and he prayed for grace. And when he got that degree, we saw that old smile come across his face. When they come back, we thank God they're home. Yeah, they're older, wiser, filled with more peace than they've ever known. Yeah, they're stronger, better, and thankful to be past that pain when they come back. Some people might say or think, well, why don't you just make the donation to the Lone Survivor Foundation instead of purchasing the boots? If I gave the money to the foundation, no one would know it. I wouldn't be an evangelist. I wouldn't be an encouraging someone else to give. It is a visual reminder to us of what our men and women in the United States military are sacrificing for us every day. We're walking in their combat boots and also encouraging others to walk in their boots getting their boots on. He was For Easter, not your normal Easter basket, I bought each one of my 16 grandchildren a pair of combat boots. I wanted them to know that the freedoms that they enjoy, that we enjoy, are not free. I wanted to tell them about the sacrifice of the men and women of the military. These are my clients. These are, these are people that we serve. One of my clients who had been through a horrific battle, the Battle of Cop Keating, recently gave me the opportunity to interview him. If you could say something to America, or um, let's just say to mortgage professionals, because I am, uh, like I said, I'm on a mission for mortgage professionals, but it could be any suits and boots, what would you say? I would say that um, the men and women out in, uh, in uniform are serving armed forces are giving uh, everything um, they're given uh, their their life to protect our country and it's just something to be really appreciative of and uh, that uh, we can do what we do on a daily basis and enjoy our freedoms that we take advantage of every day and it's really because of our men and women in uniform and to appreciate that 100 percent i challenged the mortgage industry to purchase 1100 pair of boots in 2011 but whatever industry you are in, real estate, title company, banking, financial planner, insurance, consider becoming a boot evangelist. Take this message to your industry. May this be the year that the business community, the suits, become suits and boots. To get your boots on. Get your boots on! America, get your boots on! America, get your boots on! Thing he learned while he was over there was how to find.